this is the beginning of part 2 of the video on how to debug and troubleshoot a DNN site with the help of the symbol files. The second part of this video is about how to do that with your own modules. Remember that uh, we uh, right now we have we have troubleshoot the the DNN site itself. But let's say that if you are developing a module and you are not running the site locally, so it's hard for you to troubleshoot. Maybe you are doing that in a remote server that you don't you you don't have too many troubleshooting tools. You cannot debug. So how can you do that with your own in your own module? So I have developed a very simple module that will the on, its only function is to trigger an exception, and I'm gonna add this module to our to our homepage, to our getting started page. So I'm gonna just flip it back here. This module is already installed. The point is how we can go about troubleshooting that module. So I'm just gonna go to modules, all categories. And if I look here in the drop down, there is one called DNN Hero Test. Again, just a simple module, a test module. I'm going to add to this page and it will give an exception. So it says that uh, there's an error and I knew that. So if we go to the log viewer and if we refresh this, just try to refresh this, we see our new error here. See, it's our uh, DNN Hero Test module. But again, no line numbers, no file name, nothing here. And the reason is simple is because I have not placed in the bin folder the symbol files for this project, for this module. How can we do that? Now, I'm going to open Visual Studio 2010 right here. And here's our simple module. Again, code is very simple. The only thing that I'm doing here is a division by zero. So because I wanted an exception to happen. So that's what this code is doing now. What do I need to do with my uh, within my module to produce to create the symbols file when we when I compile this module? I just have to go to the properties of my project of my module, right click, click properties, go to compile, then scroll down, go to advanced compile options, and from here under generate debug info, just select PDB only. Click OK. Click OK again here. Actually, there's no more OKs here, so I'm just going to save this. I'll close the properties. And I'm going to recompile the module. I'm just going to go to Build, Build DNN Hero Test. Everything was built. And here is what I have at the end. So, I have my new compiled DLL and I have my PDB file as, as well. Now, the module is already installed there. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy the PDB file to the, to the bin folder of my site. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry over the DLL as well. Just make sure that they, are, they have the same version. So I'm going to copy both of them. And I'm going to open the bin folder of my website. Right here, the bin folder. And I'm going to paste this. Copy and replace because this the DLL was already there. So now I have my the DLL for my module and the PDB file, the symbol file for this module as well. Now, if I go back to the website and if I refresh this page and get the error again, I should get more information. I should get the file name, the line number. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we still get the same message here in the front end interface. But if we go to the log viewer now and we refresh this, we should see an exception with a bit more information. See, here's the exception on our DNN Hero test module. Now, we have the line number, we have the file name, and even the column name as well, the file call number as well. So very different from what we had before, which we had no line number, no file name, no column name. And again, we have all the information we need now to pinpoint where the problem uh, really happened. Again, file name, line number, column number. 
Now, I do recommend that once you pinpoint the problem, uh, delete the PDB files. I would, I would delete them and also go back to your web config and set the bug equals false again. So I would think that those would be best practice in terms of how you have your website operational live. But that's basically it. That's how we can use symbol files to debug not only debug and troubleshoot, not only DNN itself, but your own modules as well. Thank you very much and bye for now.